Hi guys, in a follow-up to a story I covered in another video, the fact that the UK lost out to Ireland when the pharmaceutical giant AstraZeneca decided against investing £320 million in a facility in the United Kingdom, Brexiteer Andrew Castle blames the British government for not welcoming businesses and nurturing an environment where an international company like AstraZeneca can operate. Oh my god, talk about complaining about what you actually wanted. Have a listen to this. This country at the moment is not welcoming. This government, as Boris Johnson once famously, famously said about business and the naughty word beforehand, it is a terrible, terrible message. Do we welcome business to this country or not? Do we understand how important it is that investment is made and, and companies come to this company and, tr and, and operate? Now, whether they declare their profits properly or not, and if you just want to sit on your backside and say, well, yeah, they, they, these global companies, they hide their profits. Yes, they, they try to be tax efficient. Um, you know, I, I'm not speaking about that. I'm just talking about factories. I'm talking about people who go to factories. I'm talking about services jobs, I'm talking about everything. You want to get people back to work? Give them gainful employment. One of the ways to do that is to put big global companies here or invite them here, get, uh, make it a welcoming environment here. And at the moment, we're not doing it. AstraZeneca, here's the headline. AstraZeneca overlooked Britain for a new $400 million, £320 million drug factory because of its discouraging tax regime. This is the chief exec, 63-year-old Sir Pascal Sorio. He's a serious bloke in global business. Yeah? He's not some second-rate politician in some country which is diminishing. This is, you know, an important businessman with a whole load of money. It's there. 320 million is, is, is as a flea on his backside. You've got to understand, you know, if companies like that choose Dublin over, over the UK, well, that's bad, isn't it? Or maybe, you'd, maybe nobody cares, but I care. Okay, a few things to say about this. So first of all, about the tax regime, um, that's probably part of the reason why the why AstraZeneca chose Ireland over the United Kingdom. But if the UK has to increase corporation tax and other taxes at the moment, why is that the case? Well, you know, there's a cost of living crisis, um, businesses are closing down, there's that aspect of it, but also because of the cost of Brexit. If Brexit didn't happen, the UK wouldn't probably have to increase taxes to the same extent that they are and maybe something like uh, AstraZeneca would remain in the country if it's related just to tax. But I think it's more to do with the environment, the, the nurturing environment for business. How are you supposed to bring companies in if you tell them we've already made it more difficult for you to export? We've also made it more difficult for you to bring in the staff you need. So Andrew here, and I believe Andrew supports Brexit. I've heard him supportive of Brexit in the past. Uh, he hasn't come out and said he's a Brexiteer as far as I know, but I'm getting the impression that he is. How can you say we want to bring businesses in, but we want to put up barriers to trade? How can you say we want companies to hire more staff when we make it, we want to make it more difficult for companies to hire more staff? You know, Brexit, as I said before, was two-tier. One was about disaster capitalism, okay, a race to the bottom, but the other was to keep racists and bigots happy. And ending a freedom of movement, Preeti Patel, you know, presented it as a major victory, is causing these problems. Businesses like AstraZeneca, who need to bring in staff from all over the world, including Europe, if they say, well, it's going to be more difficult to bring in this staff, then we'll have to move to a place where it's easier to bring in the staff. If they say we need to export and import chemicals uh, to produce our pharmaceuticals, if it's more difficult, they'll move to a place where it's easier. And Brexit has made all of these things more difficult. And I'm yet to hear a Brexiteer turn around and say, actually, we were wrong. We need to end Brexit. We need to undo it. We need to get back into the EU. We need to get back into the single market to undo this damage. But it's all about tax. Yeah, we just need to lower taxation for companies. But that's not enough. 
And why are taxes rising? Because of the cost of living crisis, because the damage Brexit is doing to the economy. I really don't understand how these people don't understand this. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.